Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lainey and this is your go-to place for online teachers who are looking for strategies on lesson planning, marketing, and technology. On this channel, you'll find a library of videos that will help you to get hired and get noticed by an online teaching platform so that you can increase your re-enrollment rate with students and create a successful online teaching business. In today's video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can create a GIF that you can incorporate in your online classes through your slideshows and how you can also do it in your Instagram stories. This is a really fun way for you to amp up that engagement and interest from your students. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it in my own classes. When we finish this video, you'll be able to create your own GIFs that you can utilize in your Instagram stories as well as your online slideshows in your classes that will keep your students engaged and likely laughing. Feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can be up to date on all of the videos that I post in the future. Future. That said, let's get started. Making a GIF of yourself is actually very simple. Even though it can look impossible, I'm excited to show you how I utilize them and create them for my classes for a little pop of fun. The first thing that you need to do is you need to decide what is your GIF going to be of. Of course, you can make as many as you want, but there are a few that you can make that you can utilize over and over again, like pointing and jumping. You could use uh, emotions on your face. You could do a mind blow. That's what I'm going to show you today where I go to show that I'm mind blown. Um, you could do things like clapping and dancing, that showing that you're proud. There are so many ways that you can utilize GIFs. I even like to use it uh, in one of my space classes. I have one for a planet that's very cold. It's far away from the sun. And I have a GIF of me shivering inside of that slideshow. And it's just a fun way for me to engage my students and get them laughing. Now you can record this a number of ways. I'm gonna show you today on my iPhone. I have this uh, cool tripod here. The link will be below for this in the Shop My Classroom link if you're interested in my tripod. Uh, I got it from Amazon and it was, I think, less than $15. I think I just broke it actually. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna set my camera up here on my tripod and I have, here we go. You'll see behind me, I have pretty much a blank-ish wall. It's ideal for you to record with a blank wall behind you just to make sure that when you remove the background, it comes out really clean. Um, but let me set this up here. So you'll see that I have, okay, sorry, text message. <laughs> so you'll see that I have a pretty blank wall behind me, nothing too crazy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on video and you can hit the record button. And when you're ready, you can do whatever motion it is that you're going to be utilizing. So for me, I'm going to do, and I like to like do it a couple of times. So you might want to back up some or move forward just to make sure that you're, you're not getting cut off too much. I love how I make the noise with it. Okay, so once you do that a few times, then you stop the recording. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back and you're going to edit this recording. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I edit that. So I clearly use an iPhone, um, but this should probably be pretty similar no matter what device you're using. So what you're gonna do is you're going to edit the video where you recorded the GIF. So as you can see here, all I'm doing is dragging both ends just to get that one to two seconds of me doing the movement that I want to be included in the GIF. Once you've trimmed your video, then you can hit done and save it as a new clip. Once you've trimmed your video, you're going to go to unscreen.com. And when you get there on the very first page, you'll see there's a button that says upload clip. This is what you're going to use to be able to upload the video that you trimmed with you doing that one to two second motion. Unscreen will then take your video and remove the background. Now, as you can see, I am missing parts of my fingers, but that's okay for what I'm showing you today. But again, that probably has a lot to do with my background. Once you're happy with the way that your GIF has turned out, you can then click the download button down below the blue button and it will download that video to your phone. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how I'm able to add my GIF to a Canva slideshow presentation. I'm gonna choose the Canva app on my phone and choose designs. I'm gonna pick from there a slideshow that I've already created. We'll just use this one as an example. And I'm going to take a look at all of my slides and figure out which one I wanna add my GIF to. So I'm gonna choose this one right here 
and it's all about Deinonychus. So I'm gonna choose that gray plus button in the right bottom corner and then click on uploads. From there, I'm gonna choose upload media and photo library. And then I'm going to make sure that I click on the GIF that I wanna include and hit add. From there, it will begin to upload. Once it is uploaded, you can tap on the picture or the GIF and you can resize it, move it around wherever you want on your slideshow. Just another easy way for you to make your classes more fun and exciting. So let's take a look at how I add this to my Instagram stories. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open up my stories. I'm gonna snap a picture and then I'm going to change it so that it has a black background. That way I'm able to then type up some text where I'm going to ask my followers if they wanna learn how to create their own GIFs to add into their slideshows or to their Instagram stories. And then what I'm gonna do is you'll see I'm gonna add my own GIF to it and announce on here that I have this YouTube video where you can learn how to do it. Now that I have all of my text written up, it's time for me to add the GIF. So I'm going to go to my photo gallery and I'm going to choose the picture that, or the GIF that I wanna use. And then I'm going to click that share button in the lower left corner and choose copy photo. Then you can go back to your Instagram story and as soon as you do that, it pops right up in the lower left hand corner. If it doesn't work, try it again. Sometimes it takes two times for me to do it for some reason, but that's all you have to do is just copy the photo from your photo gallery and then go right back to your Instagram story and it will appear right on your screen. So if you're interested in learning more about technology that you can use, make sure that you click the link in the description box to get your free essential cheat sheet to technology for online teachers. This is a basic overview of tons of technology platforms that you can utilize in your classes and it allows you to be able to narrow down the ones that you think might be helpful to you in your classes because you don't need to learn all of them if you're not going to use all of them. So this will help you to eliminate those that are not gonna benefit you for what you're offering in your online classes. And just like that, you're able to increase your engagement and show your students how much fun your classes really can be. I love this method of just really making it interactive and intriguing for your students. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure that you check out these two videos as well for some tech options to include in your online classes. As always, thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.